Hey guys, how's it going? It is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to Furniture Friday. Today we have some amazing stuff lined up. We have new changes that are gonna blow your mind. But seriously guys, I hope you guys are excited for this episode today because we got some stuff to do with the modern TV. We have some brand new redesigned models. We also have some kind of new variants. Now, unfortunately, this update does not come with any new furniture, but it has a ton of changes. And you'll see when we get over to Craig here how many changes there are. So let's head over to there right now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's go ahead. Turn over Craig here right now. Let's take our mini bike. Boy, we have a ton of crates here to open up. Have a look at this, my dude. So we have a total of six crates to open up in this episode today. So there are a lot of changes and improvements with the furniture mod in this update. And uh, obviously, I've less, I kind of put them in an order from least, least exciting to the most exciting at the end. So make sure you guys stick around until we get to uh, crate number six at the end here. And uh, as always, let's get the uh, crowbar and uh, let's start opening these things one by one. So change one, not super duper exciting as I mentioned, but it is, hey, here it is. So we have the bird bath, the tap and the curtain. And basically what has changed with, changed with these is we have some slight texture changes. So the curtain actually now has oak at the top here. Now this is actually for the upcoming changes, which is going to be that the curtain will be able to come in every single color. Right now you can't do it, but in the future, uh, there will be every single color for the curtain. Now about the bird bath and the tap, I've actually reverted the textures to the stone texture because um, some people were actually saying that it felt more like the outside if it had a stone texture because previously I actually changed it to concrete, um, the light grey concrete and some people didn't really like it so I've changed it back and made it feel a little bit more like it's the outside. So it's just a slight subtle change with the furniture but let's head on to the next uh, crate here, which is change number two. I actually don't know what this is. I've I've completely forgotten um, But let's open it up in three two one go. Oh This one's actually good. This one's actually a good one So now you can actually get doorbells in every single wood type So this was the original one, which is the uh, oak, but now you can actually get it in the jungle we got the dark oak spruce birch which uh, <laughs> We all know this. We all know this. Birch does not look good as anything except for the tree. No, no actually, not even the tree looks good. Birch just really needs to get out of this game. And uh, finally, we have acacia. So these are really awesome, and you'll be able you'll be able to finally choose one that suits your home. So to craft these, it's pretty much the same. However. What you need to do now is, well, we need a stone button, you need a uh, note block, and now what you actually have to do to actually craft it, because previ previously it was just the button and the note block, but now you actually get the log of your choice. So let's try something else out here um, that we haven't done. Let's get the dark oak here, and let's also get a crafting table out. We pop that down and we put these in. It doesn't really matter how you put it in. As long as you put all of them in there, it will give you the... Um, the corresponding doorbell depending on the log you put inside of there and there we go we've got the dark oak and uh yeah there we go <laughs> not really much more to say about it they make they make sounds Alrighty, change number three lucky number three what is it Boom. oh this one's a good one i like this one i like this one um so we have the coffee tables now there's nothing different about them visually. What has changed is I've actually added a functionality to them. So now what you can actually do with coffee tables, my dude. So let's go ahead, let's get that. But what we can actually do is um, if you get an item, so let's go ahead, maybe grab out a diamond sword here. We could also grab out maybe like a, um, I don't know, anything else that we want to. We could grab maybe this uh, 
diamond horse armor, we can actually put items on the coffee tables now. So if we go ahead and right click this, it's going to put that on it and it's going to render it very beautifully on there as well. Put the horse armor on there and uh, this means you can actually, you know, put stuff on the coffee table now. Um, a cool little thing is if you actually have my device mod, I actually discovered this, um, which is really cool and you could create like a gaming setup, which we... Um, <laughs> A little bit of a secret, a little bit of a secret what we're going to show off at the end of the video in my garage I've kind of done some things but we can actually grab out this stuff here and uh, have a look at this. <laughs> we can actually put a laptop and the router on the table. Now do note this is not actually, um, you can't use this. Of course they work with all the other types as well so you can put a coffee table on a coffee table if you want to. <laughs> the inception is real right now. Uh, what else would actually look pretty good? I think like a lot of stuff from my um, a lot of stuff from my device mod actually works really well being rendered on these tables. So, so <laughs> the chair looking really good there. Alrighty, change number four. Number four. What could it be? Oh, this one's a good one. This one's a good one. So cooler um, has now got every single variant. Previously. You could only get this uh, this this little this blue cooler here, you know, just just this one blue cooler. But now you can get every single color, and I'm jumping up for no reason. Why am I jumping in real life? I d I will not know. But let's go ahead. Let's place all these down, and uh, let's take a look at them all because all these colors are so vibrant. Uh, let's actually place them sideways like this so the models don't touch up. But all these are so vibrant. It's uh, <laughs> well for the U.S. It's the uh, it's the end of summer. But, um, you know, for people in uh, the lower half of the uh, hemisphere, it's uh, coming up to summer now. So you can get your coolers out, you can cool down your drinks, you can put your potions inside of here. And uh, have a look at all these. So how awesome is that? Uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll just delete those. Let's go ahead and let's open these actually all up. So just uh, shift right click, give these a nice little bit of display here. Let me know which one. In, in the comment section below is your favorite color. I still obviously, I really like all the vibrant ones. I feel like the vibrant ones are the best ones, but uh, let me know which one is your favorite. And uh, also maybe let me know if you're gonna put one of these um, maybe near your pool or something like that. But these are cool, I like these. <laughs> yes, I did that. I did that guys, all right. <laughs> Uh, let's head back over here. Let's open up number five. Oh, we're getting to the end here. This stuff is getting exciting. All right, number five. I know what this one is. So this is a brand new improved model for two pieces of the furniture in my mod. All right, here we go. Oh, here it is, my dudes. We have the new and improved TV and stereo. So... Um, if you know previously in my mod we had a TV and a stereo However, what I've done is I've basically improved those models and uh, I wanted to keep the same feel So I haven't really like changed the shape of the model too much. I've just updated it to make it um, You know with new textures, but also, you know look a whole lot better and that's the whole point of improving um, the models. But let's place these down over here on this hedge and let's have a look at this. So this here is the TV. Have a look at this thing my dude. So this is uh, basically a modernization of it because this is the modern update. We are changing a lot of things. We're improving this mod for the better. So I apologize to people that did like the previous model. Um, maybe someone will create a like resource pack to restore it. However, this is the future of the TV my dudes. We got a little antenna at the top here. Um, and yeah, as you can see, it's still keeping that kind of same shape I should mention. So you're not really losing the feel of it too much. Just it looks like it has some different textures. We also have some buttons on the front here as well, which is, you know, adds a little bit more detail. And the same goes with the stereo as well. This actually, I honestly, I love this one. I love this one much more. So we've still got the speakers. We've got like a kind of a screen on there now. We have some buttons at the front. We have the antennas and um, looks a whole, whole lot better now. I, 
I, I really think it does. I really think it does uh, compared to the old model, which was actually created before 1.8 and way before Jason models were a thing. So definitely a lot of improvements here. Let me know what you actually think about these in the comment section below. Do you think they're, do you think they're better than the old ones or do you think the old ones are better than these ones? I'd really like to know what your guys' thoughts are on these. But let's go ahead and uh, let's head on to change number six. And this one here, I'll spoil it right now, is a change with the modern TV and uh, a ton of you guys have been asking for this. So if you guys have enjoyed this video so far, before we do open this, make sure you guys remember to snap that like button and uh, as well subscribe so you can keep up to date with every single Furniture Friday and uh, turn on the bell notifications too so you definitely get notified. You get notified on your phone and it will be like, hey, Crayfish's video is out. You should go watch this, all right? That's, that's the type of notifications you get. Um, but yeah, let's open this up in three, two, one. All right. <laughs> I mean, it's just the modern TV, but um, the change with it now is you can now mount it onto a wall. I've done, I've, I've completed the mod guys. I've completed the mod. I've officially made the best furniture mod ever. So uh, to show this off, we're actually gonna go back to my house. Uh, where's my bike? Where's the bike? Hold on, let's take this thing back. We're going to head back to my mansion because we're going to go into my garage where I've actually kind of created a gaming setup. And um, I'll, uh, I'll show you guys because, you, I mean, we looked at the coffee tables and I showed you that that you could put the, um, the laptop and uh, a bunch of the stuff from my device mod onto... Um, the coffee tables. If you guys don't have the device mod, oh, I'll check a device. I'll check a download link in the description if you want to check out my device mod. But um, here we are, my dudes. We're at my gaming setup. Have a look at this thing. Have a look at this, and uh, most notably, have a look at the modern TV on the wall here, my dudes. Uh, we're kind of playing some Fortnite, but as you can see, this thing is actually mounted to the wall instead of actually sitting on top. So you can still actually place it on the ground if you really want to. I haven't removed that feature at all. But to actually place it onto a wall is uh, as you would expect it to be. So all you simply have to do is just right click the wall that you want it to be placed on and it's automatically going to turn into a, uh, a wall mounted TV and uh, you could say you know if we have this here if we actually placed on the block there it's gonna be one that's freestanding and then if we right click the wall it's actually gonna be mounted to it so uh, do we have another gif all right let's just let's just copy this Fortnite one let's pop it over to here and uh, we've got Fortnite happening on two screens now <laughs> we got double the action happening. Uh, as you can see on the coffee table here, we got the laptop, we got a router. Oh, and we've also got the TV remote. This is one thing, this is kind of why I implemented this into the coffee table because a ton of you guys wanted the uh, TV remote to be able to be placed onto the coffee table. Well, now you actually can and we could, you know, sit back here, we could change the channel. Well, we don't have another channel, but you get the point. You can change the channel uh, and then you can pop the, uh, TV remote back down onto the coffee table and it's a good place to put it instead of having it in your inventory or in a chest or something like that you can actually store it on the, uh, the coffee tables here which is really awesome but that my dudes is going to end off this episode of furniture Friday this update is now available download link in the description below and if you happen to create a house or anything that uses anything from my furniture mod or anything anything from all my mods send me screenshots i love to see what you guys create and uh what you do with my mods so um send them, send them to my twitter or facebook but that's it if you haven't already snap that like button and i will catch you guys later i don't know catch i'll catch you guys later peace